Okay, so uh, our third and last demo of Ansible and ACI integration uh, uh, uses and demonstrates uh, Ansible Tower, uh, actually the open source uh, version of Ansible Tower and uh, as stated before, you can also get the commercially supported version directly from uh, Red Hat. So Ansible Tower uh, is built on top of uh, Ansible as such, uh, so we have it installed on the same server as Ansible Master. Uh, so let me log in. Uh, but there are a couple of differences uh, to using the Ansible from the command line as we have seen in the first demo. So first we have a uh, graphical user interface available uh, which provides a couple of things. So usually we start with some kind of dashboard uh, which you can to a certain extent also customize and gives you the overview of uh, Ansible playbooks uh, and tasks being run historically and some basic statistics uh, how many uh, were processed successfully, how many failed and so on uh, and uh, if I said that we are working with the uh, with the Ansible playbooks a little bit different uh, it's in terms of the uh, playbook usage definition so first of all, the playbooks are uh, grouped into so-called projects. So uh, in our demo, we have actually two main playbooks which we do use. And those are for uh, the environment buildup and then for the environment cleanup. Uh, so in the project ACI demo, uh, <clears throat> we have two uh, so-called job templates. Uh, one for build and one for cleanup. And if I click on the build, uh, there are some things which are already familiar. Uh, we are using the playbook of the name full YML. Uh, so that's what we have seen to run before. Uh, we give it an inventory, uh, which we have under the name ACI demo inventory and is specified elsewhere and not in the file as we have seen it uh, in the previous examples. Uh, so we need to define the inventory in another way and uh, we also can supply the credentials for uh, hosts configuration uh, which is just a formality here. So let's go to the inventories. Inventory uh, basically uses a different format either YML or, or JSON format and that uh, specifies all the parameters which we usually have in the inventory file uh, just in line specified as part of the inventory specification and stored in the Ansible Tower database. So that's a little bit different. And part of the inventory is also the, the group of hosts. Uh, again, what we usually have in the inventory file, but they are stored in the different portion of the database. Uh, and uh, groups, that's the same that's the same thing. So a little bit different, but conceptually actually exactly the same. Uh, one advantage of using Ansible uh, Tower, and you will see later on some others, is the possibility to define users and teams and organizations and uh, assign the access rights to certain projects and templates. Uh, so you can specify who can run what. Uh, also, you have available, for example, scheduler. So you can schedule the repeated tasks uh, for uh, being run over the night automatically or something like that uh, to specify notifications. Uh, so it's more user-friendly than just uh, firing up uh, the playbook uh, out of the command line in the operating system. So I think you uh, get the idea. So uh, if we look at the uh, job templates, uh, which uh, corresponds to the uh, call to individual playbooks, uh, we can see that we have a list of them available, uh, those available uh, quite handy. We also can see the activity in the past. So green light means that the, <coughs> the process was successful. Uh, if the process failed, uh, it's indicated by the red uh, dot and exclamation mark. 
and we can also from this uh, list uh, run the uh, playbook itself or the job itself. So let's go and uh, start working. Uh, I have the environment cleaned up. And then we should start from fresh state. Okay, so we are in the first state, that's fine. So we can fire it up and see what actually happens. So I launch the playbook or the job and I get the screen with the job running. Uh, and the first thing I would like to point out is that uh, in the case of Ansible Tower, we always get the uh, playbooks and other files pulled up from the source code repository. So on the same server you also have a git installed and the Ansible playbook being stored in the source code management system and uh, Ansible Tower by default pulls up uh, always the fresh version of the playbooks out of the code management system. So that's what this uh, task is ACI demo source code management update. And once that being done, uh, and that takes just a few seconds usually, it will start the demo build. So you can see the uh, green blinking uh, dot. And that means that the ACI demo build is actually running. So I'm going to it and we can see our familiar output out of the console, uh, which tells us what's happening uh, throughout the playbook execution. One thing which is really great on Ansible Tower compared to what we have seen before, either from the command line or from the Jenkins, uh, is this. If I click at the appropriate task, I can also get the data which are attached to that file. In this case, uh, those are the data which are exchanged between the Ansible uh, and uh, APIC. So we can see what task actually was fired on the APIC side, on which URL, which method, and which arguments, which configuration was passed to uh, APIC. And we can troubleshoot in case of failures also what was wrong this way. So we have always the possibility to introspect uh, later on what was happening throughout the uh, execution of the uh, of the uh, playbook. Uh, so the playbook will run again for about five minutes, so I'll shut up and in the end we should have the environment up and running in the Ansible uh, Tower context. Let me refresh so we see how far we are right now. With the three minutes into the demo, so we are waiting for the VMware based virtual machine to uh, spin up. So, on the open virtualization, we should already have the machine up and running. Oh, yeah, it's there, so it will be assigned. Uh, the VMware as well, IP address assigned. So on Ansible, again, if you do refresh, you will see it's right now installing the software packages. One or two more minutes, the playbook should be actually over. Again, we can see some debug data all the way through. If I go back to templates, I can see that there are some builds more finished and there is one still running. So there are many ways how to monitor the system, if I go to the dashboard, again, I can see there is a job running right now in the recent use templates. 
it's actually very handy and I can go back if I make the click first virtual machine is installed with latest Java and now it's time for the second and you can see successful result and everything is where we want it to have so virtual machines are up uh, there is the fully configured tenant with all the networking uh, available Double click. Something that we already have seen before a couple of times. Connecting the EPGs. Uh, the right hosts. And everything is working fine. So that concludes our SERP demo using the Ansible ACI integration uh, from the Ansible cover. And if